Taylor, time now to introduce you to a pet looking for a good home and joining us this morning with more is Kate Pica with the Baltimore Humane Society. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. You are welcome. You have a three year old named Gus to talk about today. I do. And Gus, I actually got to spend some time with him yesterday and he is active. He is social. He loves people. He's very curious. He's incredibly smart. Um, he already knows like all the basic commands, sit, stay down. He can shake. Oh, um, he is truly, I have to say, um, there's a lot of dogs that are food motivated. Gus is toy motivated. Okay? Oh, he likes to if play. If you give him, oh my gosh, and anything you give him, he proudly runs around, whether it's a yard, a house, my office yesterday, runs around like it's the best thing in the world. Um, we don't know a lot about Gus. Gus came to us from a partner shelter. He was brought in as a stray. And so we are learning as we go with him. We have not tested him out with other dogs mm -hmm. yet. So we do not know, you know what that is. But by all means, if someone is interested, he's a large dog, just so folks know he is large. He's probably about 65 pounds. Mm -hmm. um, he thinks he's a puppy. Uh -huh. <laughs> he looks like um, a good but, boy and he knows all those commands too. So chances are there's a good chance he could even be potty trained. Right. And in a shelter environment, um, you know, we keep an eye on that. And we always say partially because a lot of times we'll find that they don't do anything in their kennels. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they do, but it might be the situation. You don't know what it's, they're going to be like in a home. So you can never promise that. And, you know, any home that they go into, even if they were potty trained, it may turn out that they end up, you know, having a few accidents before they settle in because they do need time to settle in. Yeah, they need some reentry time. And, and listen, we've heard we're going to get well, I want, want to tell people how they can adopt Gus in just a moment. But first, okay. one, of, one of the great side effects of the pandemic was the fact that so many animals have been adopted. But we've been hearing some disturbing stories at shelters across the country that as people are going back to work, they're giving their pets back. Have you guys experienced this at all? Um, not much at all Thank so goodness. far. Um, what we are trying to do and what we have done is that when people who have adopted um, call us and either it's the situation has changed is we'll work with them if their financial situation, mm -hmm. we work with them as far as the food bank, being able to make sure that they can feed their pet if that is the issue. If it's an issue of behavior because they've gone back to work, then we direct them over to our behavior and training department where we will talk to them and we'll try to teach them what they can do in order to make that pet feel a little bit more comfortable now that they're home alone. And listen, something that you could do today if you want to is go to a sidewalk sale. Yes, we are doing a pet supply bargain bin sidewalk sale. And part of the pandemic also is that we've got so much brand new, some gently used items, but we've got so much harnesses, collars, leashes, grooming accessories, toys, crates, kennels, you name it. Most of the stuff is one to five dollars. Crates, kennels, and some of the larger items are individually priced, but they're priced to sell. And we're doing that from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. today, right out front of our shelter. Um, we're excited, and it's just nice. It's great to be offered to offer this to the community and um, have them be able to get what they need um, for a really good price. And so you're selling these items, but you're also looking for more donations. What do you need? The things that we need are things that we we need at the shelter. Um, a lot more animals that we have taken in um, need maybe some sort of antibiotics or whatever. Mm -hmm. And we always use little pill pockets for them. So we need pill pockets. Oh, yeah. Um, we need some Timothy hay and orchard hay for our small animals. That's an occasional need. Every few months, we'll start to run a little bit low. And then, as always, any dry dog or cat food is welcome. That goes into our food pantry. Um, that need is still way, way up there. We're talking three to four times what it was, you know, 12, 15 months ago. Well, let's put our picture of handsome Gus back up on the air if we can, because we want to tell people how they can come, maybe do a meet and greet with Gus, because he, he seems like a really great guy. Yep, he is. And all they do is go to bemorehumane.org. Please fill out an application. It takes 24 to 48 hours to just process that, get back in touch with you, set up a meeting, and come on in. Um, hopefully in the next few weeks as the, this, this all happens with the mask wearing and everything, we may be able to get back to a little bit more normal, but right now it still is by appointment only. All right, little by little, those little signs of getting back to normal. Kate, thanks for joining us from the Baltimore Humane Society. And if you'd like to give them a call, you can call 410-833-8848 or visit bemorehumane.org.